oh, if I could have one superpower, I would like to have that cure for cancer. Yeah. I always tell my friends, this is the only job where you can fall asleep at work and they wait, they come up to you like, they come up to you and tap you on the shoulder and say, Mr. Jimmy, um, we're gonna need you in 15 minutes. Um, uh, sorry, so sorry to wake you up, sorry, sorry, but 15 minutes, okay, okay. <laughs> you can't do that on a regular job, no way. When I always work with veterans, I always like to pick their brain, you know, because, and listen to their war stories because, I mean, you can always learn something. It's, it's endless, whether you're talking about the craft or the experiences on the set, um, the process of how they got the role. I got to work with David Carradine before he passed, and I don't know, for most people who don't know him, he's uh, Kill Bill. Like, he always told me, he always hated auditioning. So he always said, I always tell this to young actors, you're going to audition, and you don't feel like you're going to get the part, you need to, you know, motivate yourself by saying, you know, maybe this is the last chance you ever get to play this role, so you might as well make a hell of a performance. So I always took that into stride. So what am I supposed to do? The only organization I am involved with is the Wrestling Federation of Singapore. And I've been involved with that for approximately 10 years. And this has been volunteering my time. And it's great to see how we started from less than zero. And now we have been to three C games. We have bona fide wrestlers that wrestle in the international competition that are Singaporean. So it makes me proud. It makes me feel like a, I a proud father because I am one of the found, founding fathers of Singapore wrestling. Orale bakchu pa ping pong. I don't. That's bad. That's bad. I don't know. It's probably bad Hokkien. You always should find yourself working, and even if you're not on set, or you're not doing theater, you know, read a play, and on top of that have a life outside of the business because that will make you more interesting. It will add more color into your eyes. The thing that I don't suggest is don't get too involved with the business. You know, If you're going to do that, get more involved with your craft. Because you can get your fame. And if you're not trained, they can always take that away from you. But if you have your craft down by law, then that's something they can never take away and that will always carry you through. Thank you for flying with me. I'm Jimmy T.